I want to talk to you today about one of the best things that you can do for yourself. Harvard University decided to put their best brains on this. They call it the Human Flourishing Program at Harvard University. And the results of their studies have been eye-opening. Get this, one of their studies followed over 70,000 people for 16 years. You know who was the healthiest? Those who say they attend religious services frequently. They were 29% less likely to get depressed, 50% less likely to divorce, five times less likely to commit suicide. Tyler Vanderwelly is a professor of epidemiology at Harvard, and he's the director of the project. And here's what he writes about this. Our findings aren't unique. A number of large, well-designed research studies have found religious service attendance is associated with, get this, greater longevity, less depression, less smoking, less substance abuse, better disease survival, greater life satisfaction. He says the findings are extensive and growing. And now here's what really struck me about all this study. He says our research suggests religious service attendance specifically, rather than private practices or self-assessed religiosity or spirituality, most powerfully predicts health. In other words, it's not just what you say you believe privately, it's being with others who also believe. And doesn't the Bible tell us this? Hebrews 10, 24, let us consider how we may spur one another on toward love and good deeds, not giving up meeting together as some are in the habit of doing, but encouraging one another. You know, I love like the church newsletter where I talked about this today and the video devos like this and the, the live stream church services, the Zoom Bible studies that we offer. However, those are meant to be an enhancement, an addition and not a substitute. Hey, don't take it from me. Take it, take it from a Harvard doctor. Vander Willey says the data are clear. Going to church remains central to true human flourishing. Plus, you know what? It is just fun. Turns out being with people who love each other and love God is good for us. Now, obviously, I don't believe or attend church because it works. I do so because it's true and it's beautiful and it's real, but it's also transformative. So getting back to my question, what can you do this weekend to help yourself and others? Harvard Science says, come to church. <laughs> I hope I get to greet you in person this weekend. God bless you.